Hello everyone, welcome to another unboxing and first look and welcome to another Hoover Sensortronic and another Hoover Sensortronic that you've seen before so if you don't want to see the same vacuum cleaner I've unboxed a while ago feel free to go away and uh, look at something you do want to watch. Now this is Hoover Sensortronic System 3. I initially saw this on eBay it looked in pretty good condition. There's things wrong with it and not original. I have a System 3, but, well, you can never have enough Sensortronics. I'm either going to, well, I'm going to use both my System 3s to make one fantastic machine, and then the other one probably be used to fix up some other Sensortronics or take parts from it. I don't know yet, but this one went up for sale on eBay, and I watched it. I was going to place a bid on it, but the price went up to over £400 and I thought, no, I'm not paying that. So I didn't bother in the end. I didn't buy it. Somebody else won the auction. But a week or so after that auction finished, it was relisted again as a buy it now because whoever won the auction didn't pay. And that is an increasing frustration selling on eBay I've had, I've had it happen to me where I've sold an item, they've not paid, I've not heard from them. And by the time, if they haven't paid within two days, I know that they're not going to pay. So you have to wait five days, I think it is, and just cancel the sale and then relist the item or offer it to the second or third highest bidder. Here are three extension ones. I'll show you those shortly. So there's things wrong with this machine. Not necessarily wrong, but not, not correct for this cleaner. So, right. I believe this person does know who I am. And so we'll know that I will be unboxing the vacuum on eBay. So looks like he's packed it very well. Let's hope the wheels have survived. Oh, can I? Mm, not sure if this is gonna just fall out. course it's a Sensortronic it is massively heavy as they all are I think that's the contour nozzle that's a all-purpose brush completely wrong for this machine oh it's upside down Come on. Ah. Hoover dusting brush, completely wrong for this machine. Right. And yes, it does look worse than it looked uh, in the eBay listing. They say the camera never lies, but it does tell lies, cameras. They do tell lies. When you see things in real life they don't always look as good as they appeared in fact looking at this on my viewfinder it does look pretty good not as good as I'd hope but it's going to be cleaned up it seems to be a different brown it seems slightly darker it's a lovely milk chocolate brown color ah oh. oh dear <sighs> you'd think You'd think this person would know. I I unboxed the Sensortronic. Um, yeah, it's broken. I unboxed the Sensortronic um, a while ago. Um, Sensortronic 1000 in white and grey and the seller had obviously seen my videos and he was kind enough to take the wheels off and subsequently the wheels arrived unbroken. But unfortunately, <sighs> I'll be sending a photo to the seller to say, look, so, you know, the wheel, well, the wheel itself, it's put, they're pretty strong wheels, you know, pretty good. But the weakness is on the actual axle. As we can see, it's broken. You can't fix those really. I've also got in here, perished diffuser 
Now I'm not bothered, bothered about that, that happens with Sensortronics, the diffusers at the exhaust end of the cleaner, they perish. I've got replacements, not genuine, but something that will fit, some foam that will fit in place. Right, so, hey! <laughs> well, I'm going to be asking for a partial refund for that. Um, see, see how far I get. But you cannot buy wheels for these machines anymore. You can't buy them. Same with the uh, turbo power back wheels. You can't buy those either. And it's the wheels, as my regular viewers will know, it's the wheels that tend to be the things that get damaged. Right, we'll have a closer look at this vacuum cleaner. I mean, I can still pull it along just. It's hard enough to pull along with two working wheels, but with one, it's even worse. Okay, so this is Hoover Sensatronic System 3. It's a bit of a mishmash, as I'll explain later. It appears to be an early model because from what I remember from the listing it has a cream colour. It has a cream colour flex and I don't think this is a replacement flex. I would say that this is original. If someone had wanted to replace the flex I don't think they would have bothered sourcing a cream one. It would, they would have just put a white or black one. So the first generation of Sensortronics had cream cables, they also had cream colour tools and a creamed colour tool caddy. This one doesn't have a cream colour tool caddy so I might use the cream colour tool caddy for my other System 3 on this one to make it a bit more genuine. The back of it's okay as far as minimal gouging of the plastic and I can see here, I don't know if you can, bit hard to see because it's black on black or burnt umber I think Hoover called it. When I turn this machine on more bits of the diffuser will fly out. It's quite a simple job to uh, replace that. So that, I'm not bothered about that. And the side of the cleaner's, you know pretty good. Just heard some uh, I don't know where that was from, I just heard some plastic falling from somewhere. So I've got one, one nice working wheel. The underside is uh, pretty nice as well. We'll have a look at the rating sticker shortly. So all in all, it's, um, it's okay. There's some scratches, they're fairly light. I can clean this up. I mean, it looks very good now, doesn't it? But it does need a bit more of a, a, a clean up, a polish, several layers of polish will disguise most of the scratching. We've got the Sensortronic control panel here so on this machine we just have a series of lights no dials or switches. So basically the amber light is your mains on indicator. We've got the green sensor light to indicate the machine is operating efficiently and there's a uh, airflow running through the machine. If there's a restriction to airflow, if there's a blockage or the bag's full, then the red light will illuminate. We've also got a single pedal, which is your mains on off and automatic cord rewind. Quite a nasty plug on there. <laughs> I'll replace that with uh, something darker coloured so the plug isn't quite so uh, noticeable. We'll plug in, it shouldn't do anything apart from some lights should illuminate or a light. Two lights have illuminated on the control panel. You can see that the amber mains on light has come on and the red light has also come on. When you switch the machine on, if everything's okay, the red light will go off and the green light will illuminate. So we have the cover. Is there a date wheel on this one? I can't see. No, there isn't a date wheel on the cover. Right, so we have uh, one proper and very good condition all purpose nozzle, upholstery nozzle. So that is the colour the tools would have been originally on this machine, and it looks like this has had a replacement 
tool caddy. That's a bit unusual. I've, I don't recall ever seeing a white one of these. Now this would have been cream, originally cream, with a cream tool caddy. By the look of this Hoover sticker, this is a replacement. And this will have a date on, but it's probably a lot later than the machine. It says 1986. We've even got the little air freshener holder here, which was uh, fitted to later models, not the first gen. So this is a later tool caddy, but this can be used. I mean, it's, it's, it's going to function as it should, but um, yeah, it's not correct. I knew that when I bought the machine, it should have a cream, cream caddy. We have got, for some reason, a black pen has been used to cover up the model numbers. I don't know why, but it is a genuine Hoover bag. Double layered paper. And that's a genuine slide to empty. You can buy fabric bags for these made by a company called Airflow. A-I-R-F-L-O, no W at the end. I bought a couple of packs from Amazon that were supposed to be Airflow, but the seller sent me cheapo generic paper bags and charged me $8.99 for five. So they're going back. But I do have some... Um, airflow ones that are fabric which are better than this so anyway we've got a clean bag in cleanish bit of dirt in there I'm not concerned about this because I do have about four four to six pairs of new Sensotronic wheels now the thing is they are green oh no they're not green sorry they're not green they are m maroon so they're from a later model uh, I don't think they're this color this is no oh, this is a brown but it's quite hard to do, but it is possible because the only thing that's broken in here is that middle bit. So I will take the middle bit and you have to basically destroy the other wheel. I need to figure out, can you see that the axle here is, is uh, broken off. I have to sort of try and get that axle out and I normally have to use some um, wire cutters, uh, pliers, just to sort of chip away at it until I can eventually get everything out so then I'd have a perfect wheel and then I carefully remove the axle from one of my replacement wheels it doesn't match and it just fits in there so that is why I'm not annoyed so much about that but the seller doesn't know that that I've got a spare wheel um, whoever else bought this machine they probably wouldn't have had a spare wheel so we'll see I'm gonna send a photo of that so I think we can uh, have a look at the other bits so the original Sensortronics even the top models even Total System 5 came with plastic ones I, can you believe it that a flag a flagship vacuum cleaner range would have plastic ones but these would have been the plastic ones that it would have come with one to five they all had plastic ones and it was quite soon into the run where the plastic ones were placed for metal one metal ones on systems three four and five systems one and two the entry level sensortronics they were still supplied with plastic ones but they dropped this cream color really really early on in the production because when i bought my first hoover sensortronic system five i expected to get cream color tools and a cream hose that's what's pictured on the box and when I opened the box I got metal tubes which I was quite happy about but the tools were dark brown on to Total System 5 um, and I think on System 1 they were either I think I think they called it Helena Blue I've seen you've got I've got a System 1 you've seen that video that's the one that blew up um, and then System 2 I think they were black or burnt umber I think Hoover called it for some reason I've got three of these so I think what's happened and are they all the same so this has had a replacement hose folks because the early hoses on these were very very heavy and they they had a skin on them and I've shown you on my first system 3 video that's the hose it would have come with and those hose were prone to splitting and in fact when I got my total system 5 it was probably an 83 brand new 
it had a dark brown hose instead of the cream hose but it was the same original hose with the skin so it wasn't anything like this and they were prone to splitting as i said and mine within a few months or even weeks of very light use started to split the outer insulation of the power hose you could start seeing the inner skin so hoover replaced that under the guarantee and i got a hose like this but it didn't have this hand grip this is completely wrong for a system 3 this has been fine on a system 30 which followed the system 3 this was a, a new design system 3 would have had and you can check back on my older system 3 video would have had a much longer handle with a dial with numbers 1 to 5 in a window a dial and an on-off switch would have also had and that's disappointing I was going to show you a power head with this machine there's no power takeoff socket on here this is a replacement hose so I think under guarantee this hose has been replaced possibly and because the the actual pistol grip design isn't as long as the handle originally supplied that's possibly why there's an extra wand because it might have made the machine a bit lower you know you'd have to stoop a bit more so yeah that's disappointing i do have another hose i can use with this i was going to show you a, a super deluxe that was named electrokinetic a bit later on but it's the same this would have turned this into total system 5 this is basically total system 5 if you add a power head to it and i was hoping to show you but no look it's blanked off under that blanking piece there will not be anywhere I can plug the power hose, power head into. So never mind. And the other side there with a three prong, I'll just turn it off first before I insert the hose because it does connect up electrically. It's, hang on. There we go, didn't want to go in. These hoses are a lot more robust, but still a bit awkward because they don't swivel, obviously, they don't swivel, up, swivel either end. Right, let's uh, turn it on. <laughs> let's turn it on. Well, it doesn't turn on, does it, folks? It did turn on when I pressed the max button. That turns off as soon as that, so it'd have to be like, like a Dyson where you have to keep your finger on the button all the time. Okay, I can see behind it, off camera, it spewed out a load of black stuff. I knew it would. That's not right, is it? That should turn on. So basically, I mean, because this isn't the correct, as I said, it's not the correct handle. The automatic feature does work on this cleaner because the automatic feature is built in to the hand grip it's not built into the machine so you can make your earlier sensortronic into one with the automatic power sensing function this isn't right it should even when that's on its lowest part there that should turn on that's on that's off but obviously basically the switch 
Sorry, that's that must no, that's off. Pardon me. That's off. That's off. So that's a little bit dodgy. The motor though, that sounds fine. It's got it's got good suction on it. Um oh one thing I haven't shown you, well let's just, let's just open these and I'll just shove these somewhere in my uh, tools, one of my many tools boxes. Yeah, I think that is cream. Obviously that's not going to fit. I've got to go, I've got a delivery folks. Sorry about that folks, a delivery and no it wasn't a vacuum cleaner, can you believe it? Right, so it's gone a bit discoloured. I think it should be cream. That's not going to fit inside here. This is a UK made all purpose brush, not suitable for this machine. So as I said, that can go in the old spares tools box. And uh, as can this, I think. I think that is white, which discolored a bit. Nice condition, but again, not. Shall we try and put this inside the cleaner here? Look where it should go. We can't because the Sensotronic dusting brush was a much sleeker, flatter design, so it would fit in the tool caddy. I think I've got one. I should be able to, couple, you know, get something more suitable because the machine itself seems better. The body of the machine. I'll just take, you know, the tool caddy and the tools for my other System Three. I'll have to check what tools it's got. I can't remember without checking the video. It's packed away somewhere. This looked in good condition, the contour head. I've also got long-term viewers of my channel. will remember I opened a Hoover Sensotronic System 55. It was advertised as a System 5, but when I got it and opened it, it was a 55, which was as far as I remember, exclusive to Comet, they did a System 25, 35 and 55. System 25 was basically a System 2, uh, 35 was a System 3 and 55 was a System 5, but in exclusive colours for Comet and they came out later on. Um, I think there was new models available then and they, Comet just had these three exclusives. So. Um, that needs looking at too. This is in lovely, lovely condition. The original Hoover contour head with the window. I've got a couple of replacement contour heads in black, but they don't have the window. I think one of them does, but the other doesn't. This has a metal pip. I think the later replacements had a plastic pip there. Well, they're a bit, oh look, they, they come out those. Oops. <laughs> And that comes off, <laughs> dearie me. So uh, yeah, not so good. I don't know if they've been replaced, but uh, yeah, it's not. I'll have to. I'll just take that off because it's only going to. It's only going to come off when I try use this, isn't it? So um, yeah, no, it looks looks very smart. It just does does not look right with this with this hose. I've got two genuine Hoover metal ones in the Sensotronic style, so I might use those, I don't know. It'd be nice to have all original, especially now I've got this contour head in very good condition. If I can fix up the cream colour hose from my System 3, the previous one, and, and you know, I could have a nice original cream tool caddy and everything. Pop this on. we go right let's uh, hopefully that the the mess that it's left that's spewed out of the back of the machine isn't going to uh, stain the carpet that I've just cleaned again I can see now why the extra wand has been provided because that is that is pretty low oh that's gonna be, I'll just leave it as it is because that's stuck in there
very hard to push on my carpet, this nozzle. Oh, that's not the nozzle's fault. Oh, don't think those bits are stained anyway. Oh, crikey, it's hard work. I'm having to uh, stoop. So that is why, definitely why, there are three tubes with this machine because that's that's too low down for me oh crikey I'm not very fit anymore folks I should get out more shouldn't I really I'll add the third now it's now it's gonna be a bit too long yeah it's oh dear it's ridiculous now folks uh, me in the next room and vacuum a room with the length of this Ugh. but the thing is the more of these plastic ones you add the more flexible it is and the more chance you've got of breaking it so I certainly won't use these plastic ones when I've got a couple of nice metal ones but yeah so there we have it oh I just we'll just have a look at the uh, I might, I'll just, I'm going to open it up in this video just to see why it's rattling and I wonder why that that red light I didn't actually check the sensor system did I I just checked that the red light illuminates when I block the wand off when I block the suction off the green light should go out and the red light should come on seems to work and you know the motor does sound pretty good so I'm not complaining about the motor I do have two sensortronic motors as well though spare I think yes I have two genuine ones so I'm okay for motors and I'm okay for wheels fortunately it doesn't look like I need a motor well, let's just before I take the top cover off we'll just check the old cable rewind they're sluggish anyway on these Actually, not too bad. Ooh. Not as good. Ooh. Not as good as an Electrolux cable rewind. They always were a little bit slow to respond on the old Hoovers. Okay. Well, with this one, oh, is it? I think it's a a, a regular Phillips or Posi Drive screw. All I have to do is undo those two to access the motor. Yes, it's a regular Phillips screw. Later versions, they covered up the screw holes with a little bit of plastic. You had to lever the plastic off. They didn't want you to get into them. But this one, and I expect, oh, that is in very nice condition in there, isn't it? Even this foam, well, I say it's intact. It doesn't really spring back very easily. That is starting to go. I've got a lot of Sensortronics where this foam is completely perished. There's nothing left of it. But there are things you can buy if you look around. You can get to glue in place, hot glue gun, cut some strips. Um, and Bob's your uncle. Just don't know why though that the um, red light was fluctuating. We do have a suppressor. It's yeah, it's odd because I'm sure on some of my Sensortronics, I think on my System 2, it's one of those bigger metal bodied suppressors. And on this one, it's a smaller plastic bodied one. On these, because of all the gubbins and wires, I don't like to take the suppressors out of these. On my system one that blew up if you remember that video when I open that up I think that does have I think it has a more traditional suppressor and I did manage to get some spares so I'm just going to swap the suppressor out they're not necessary in in modern times to, to keep a suppressor a lot of people ask me what's the suppressor for well basically it was to stop the electric motor interfering with 
TV and radio signals. Back in the olden days, folks, if your mother got the vacuum out and you're watching Saturday cartoons and she was vacuuming somewhere in the room, the, the television picture would break up and you'd be very annoyed. So suppressors were fitted to appliances with electric motors to, to stop that happening. But with our digital TV and people streaming online, it, it doesn't affect the picture anymore. So it's not necessary really. I don't know if the easiest thing, if I was, if I ever had to remove this, I don't know if the easiest thing on these is just to snip the two black wires and connect them up with a proper connector, all insulated, and just bypass it that way, or do I? Because it's, it's like spaghetti junction in here, all the wires. Um, but it's very, very clean, and I don't think it's clean because it's been refurbished. I think it's clean because it just hasn't had very much use. And the motor certainly sounds fine. I, I've, I've no problems with that. The flex rewind. This is perished as well here. This little piece that sort of uh, is a little sort of partition between the cord rewind and the motor. That has gone down, but just a bit of um, that old fashioned draft excluder you can get for windows might have to trim it a bit but something like that clean all the old stuff off first that look as you can see look it's coming off now clean all that off use some sticky stuff remover get it all clean and then put a new piece over that to get to replace the uh, perished exhaust filter I do have to take the whole bottom of the machine off the lower section in fact, I'll have a closer look at that uh, in a minute, just to make sure nothing's broken. I believe on the first System 3 I unboxed, part of the back panel was cracked. It'll be fixable. But all in all, it is very, very clean in there, isn't it? The cleaner itself is only going to need cosmetic cleaning. I'm not touching the motor, it doesn't need it. I'm going to remove the whole inner part this is twin skinned, Hoover advertised the fact it was quiet because it has twin skins. So the outer skin, the coloured part, it's, it's easy to remove on these. And then you're left with this whole part, a whole assembly. So I can take all the plastic parts off and clean them and polish them and then refit them. And basically that's all I'm going to do. New filter or wash the filter. Um, replace this with some, uh, something a little bit better. So obviously that's perished and eventually I'll, I'll look at replacing this because it is going to go it's it's but it, that is in very good condition for one of these normally they've completely perished so yeah when you're putting the top back just make sure the wires aren't trapped tuck them in apologies if you can hear my washing machine spinning in the background I have washing to do today and wash day can't stop just because I'm making a video right so all in all yeah I give it a 7 out of 10 and only because I know I can uh, fix that wheel the wheel will be the same that part is just the middle part which um, I might as well remove I don't know if I can use this screwdriver. We haven't looked at the underside yet, have we? Oh, typical Hoover, you see. It's a different sized Phillips screwdriver. It's a smaller one. There we are. So I'll take that off. So if the uh, seller, I just easily remove those wheels. I'll put that screw back in so I don't lose it. The seller could have just taken those wheels off would have taken two minutes, pop them inside the cleaner, wrapped them in a bit of bubble wrap if you wanted to, and I'd have just put them on easily. And I wouldn't have had a, a cause to complain. But so now I'm going to complain. I'm not going to let it uh, drop, see if I can get some money off. I might even decide, no, I'll return it. You can have it collected. We'll see. I'll, I probably won't. We'll see how... how We'll see what the seller says, won't we? Um, that's what I'm going to do now, folks. I'm going to take a photo of this broken wheel. And we'll see if I get a partial refund. I'll see what the seller offers. I'm not going to say what I'll be happy with. We'll see what the seller says. 
or if the seller can obtain a new wheel that's fine I don't think you'll be able to somehow but yeah as I said it's a you ruin the, the new wheel that you've got if, if you want it to color match it's not a case of just being able to take this glamour cap off it is basically you completely have to wreck the new replacement wheel in order to get I think I did Anyway, I can't remember what I did but I it on my system 2 I had a, the same problem the wheel was broken but because I had a spare burgundy colored wheels I managed to replace it and it looks the same it's just it's just the middle bit that's broken you see because these wheel the wheels themselves they're pretty strong the weakness though is in this plastic axle it's in whoops that's inside here you see that's where it's broken so folks again tip for you if you're selling anything and you want it to arrive intact you pack it with an I mean it looked well packed but the wheels obviously if that box has dropped a lot of force on that on the wheels even though it's in bubble wrap and double wrapped in a box things get broken especially vintage things a vintage vacuum we don't know what year this is from yet do we I'd say I'd say 82 83 not sure if we can date it from this actually so this is Hoover model S3132 50 Hertz 1000 watts 240 volts 1170 watts with power head made in France so it's 2040-6695. I don't know how to date this I can't remember um, yeah it could be 82 I'm not sure could be in I remember them coming out in I think they did they originally did launch in 1982 the Sensortronics so this could be from 82 please comment below and correct me if I'm wrong well there you go folks the end of today's video another Hoover Sensortronic System 3 a little bit disappointed obviously with the wheel pretty happy on the whole with the machine itself the way the motor sounds the way the motor looks when I opened it up so all in all I think I've got a pretty good machine it does need a little bit of uh, finesse a bit of polishing a little bit of cleaning and this will sit very nicely with my other Sensortronics of the original range I've got system one two three and I suppose system five, 55 you could pretend it's system five I would have liked a total system five because that was the very first vacuum cleaner I bought as a child my very first brand new vacuum cleaner that was all mine so it would have been nice to get system five but basically system three is the same as system five apart from the color in fact it didn't come with the electrokinetic power head I have another Sensortronic or another couple at least to show you at some point on my channel because you know me I'm a sucker for Sensortronics but in the meantime if you have any comments or questions about this Sensortronic or the Sensortronic range in particular please comment below and I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Bye for now.